So, we're coming up to uh, line the new wheel up, and it is too fat for the forks. So what I've been told to do is there's a flat edge along there to file that down, which I've started doing on this one. You can see where it's gone shiny, and I've got to be careful to keep that flat. Both sides, both sides of this, and both sides of this. So I'm just going to take a file to that now. So this is literally taking a file, keeping that edge as flat as we can. Take a millimetre or so off of that side and off of that side. This one's a little bit more tricky. Now I've been filing for a couple of minutes and as we can see that one is starting to slide in it just needs a little bit more and this one is still a bit tight but then I started on the other side what I've actually started doing is counting how many seconds or almost how many strokes I'm doing on each side to try and keep it even so I've got that side being filed off that side being filed off and equal side and then equal side to side as well but I think we're nearly there it's only taken five minutes just wanted to check the original wheel back in place yeah that's fairly loose when it gets in there I think I'm not looking below the play but obviously this needs this needs to sit right on the bottom of there quite easily so the way I've got mine at the moment it's quite a tight fit it needs a bit of a push so I'm going to take another millimetre or so off each side again I can't emphasize enough about this to try to keep it flat and even on both sides so it is really concentrating on trying to keep that dead flat and doing the same number of strokes each side. Cool, all right, I'm happy with that. I've got them so they're, they're loose enough. I oh, know it's sitting in the bottom, still fairly a bit tighter than the original, but I think we're good to go. Let's get this tire on. Now, of course, I didn't think about this, but the next issue is this little spacer washer <coughs> is too big for that gap. So on this side, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to file a couple of mil off there. On this side, you see it's here, it's like my green. I presume this and this is going to come off the end of that, but we'll have to have a go. Um, one good thing, the disc lines up straight away, which is good. What I figured out is actually it's easier to file it on because then I can use the use a template to see what I've got to take off. Uh, well, either that I have to come off and go in a vice. So that was a lot easier to file down. So that's just slipped into there, no problem at all. Taking a little dust cap off of that and starting to tighten it up. The uh, disc brake is lying. It's good. It's slotted in there. I think we use this out towards the comes out downwards anyway. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, tires on, so she's ready to be tightened up. I think we're getting close. Now you're going to need an 18mm socket and spanner to do those two. Uh, if you do decide to take all of this off. I think you're going to need to remove that cable tie to get it through that hole. It seems a bit tight, the cable tie there. To get it through there, but I haven't had to do that. I've, I've filed that down in situ, so that's all gone in. <laughs> 